street. Welcome to my street. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the street and I'm going to talk about how traffic engineers and civil engineers change the street. There's a lot about the street that is designed and that can change and that you can be part of. I'm actually also going to prove that you already know about traffic engineering. So, um, where will we start? We've got a lot of cars in the streets, we've got buildings, we've got lots of travel lanes, okay? And because we're being traffic engineers, we're going to concentrate on the space between the buildings. We're just looking at that part of the street, okay? But a lot happens in that space, and there's a lot of people trying to do different things. So, right away, oh, I'm very unhappy with my street. I look down the street and I'm thinking, these cars, how does this work? What is going to happen when they all get to the middle? What's going to happen? They're all going to crash. Okay. I told you you were already traffic engineers. They traffic lights. Thank you. Traffic lights are one of the ways, we actually have lots of ways, that we can deal with this problem. Yes. I told you, you guys already know a lot about traffic engineering. You're going to be surprised. So we're going to start again. This is obviously not a system that works. We're going to put our cars back. Oh, switch place. So most of you notice our big streets, we always have some way of telling cars what to do. So we got a suggestion for traffic lights. And this is a model. Engineers often model things. It's not supposed to be real. I've had some people tell me these didn't look right. This is just what we do when we tell cars where to go and how to behave on the street. Okay. We're gonna get we're gonna get one more set of signals. So remember, I said you guys already know a lot about traffic engineering. Yeah. I'm gonna prove it again. What does red mean? Stop. Stop. Green. No, go. Slow down. Yeah. Slow down. Okay. So you know extremely sophisticated traffic engineering. That system, that red, yellow, and green system, controls thousands of cars moving at high speed on this street. Think about it. We have this very simple system. And of course, it's not simple. There's a lot of complicated engineering that goes on in the background. But there's a lot of thinking because you've got people coming in different ways. But we're, I feel a lot better because we have our lights. Now we know that guys will go, and these guys will be stopped, and then these guys will go. So that's good, right? And, we, and now we know they're going to do it on every song. Okay. So we're better than we started out. But I see these people, right? These people who live over here, and I know that's their school. And I think to myself, how are they going to get there? I want them. It's very close. They can walk. Yeah? Red, so they can go over. Yes, you hear that? They should cross when the cars are red. They should get a crosswalk. We've got two engineering suggestions already. Let's go. I'm actually going to go first with giving them their own signal. Okay, this is the one where you press the button, right? You've all done that if you press the button, right? And I'm actually going to put signs in to warn the drivers about that. I'm going to see. Yes, this might be that Purple. I'm going to put them in because when I cross the street, I still need them in the other direction. I need them on every side. I need them all over the place. Okay? So I'm going to be able to get across. So, when you press that button, did you know that you were controlling these traffic lights too? That you were controlling the cars? You were. When you press that button, some of the time you changed how much green time the cars have. So you actually took over the operation. Like traffic engineers, they operate, they make this all work together. And you did that when you pressed the button. I'm still not happy though, because I want more. I always want more. Because that's only one piece. I'm putting in crosswalks. Somebody suggested this. 
What's a crosswalk? It's just paint. Excellent. I heard a whole lot of engineering in that response. We have created with paint a safe place to cross the street. And if you could just tell the people, here's where I cross, right? I know that this is probably a safer Why place. Because we are, as the day, they're getting tired as the day goes on. But it also did, and this was in your answer, it did something else. It didn't just tell the people, it told the drivers. I'm driving down the street, my brain should say, uh-oh, there's paint, I should expect people, even when I can't see them, I should realize. So, with our paint, and with our signs, and with our signals, we have now told all the people here all sorts of things to do, and we've used a lot of fancy engineering to do that, okay? Because... They're each trying to do different things. So already I'm a little happier. I'm not fully happy yet. Um, I'm not going to go with that yet. Um, I'm going to do more. I'm going to keep doing more. Sorry. I need another medium. I'm going to add... I'm going to add mediums. Because remember I said we were working between the buildings? We can do a lot to change the space between the buildings. So these are called mediums, and they do lots of things. For one thing, they can catch our storm water. When it rains, they can go in here. But it does other things. Before we had the median, when the cars were coming down the street, they actually were moving pretty close and pretty fast next to each other, and it was fairly easy for them to crash into each other. Once we have a median, much less likely to happen. So much safer in that way now but for the people way more comfortable see I'm crossing the street I'm slow I have a safe space when I'm crossing the street and you know I could be very elderly I could be in a wheelchair it's a lot safer and easier for me to cross this way so that's better I might actually also while I'm at it I'm really trying to make it safe because that is a school. I actually decided to install bump outs. So I actually redesigned the corners of my streets. And I can do that sometimes. And what I did when I did that was see how the distance got shorter again or got shorter across the street so I didn't just make it better I actually made it shorter so now there's much less time when I might have a car coming close to me so I, it also helped with some other things like being able to see for the cars and it actually did something else when I put them in it made the cars go a little slower as they were turning the corner and that's actually important because the corner is where they're going to meet people, right? So a lot of things going to us at this street. And actually, I was doing a lot of traffic counting and I discovered something kind of interesting, which was that there was actually very little traffic on this street. So I actually closed it off. I decided... Where's the truck? The, um, yes. So I closed off the street. And the first weekend I had closed it off... I held a little street festival and we had a food truck and we put out tables we put out tables and we had people eating you can help me with the ta with putting the seats at the tables so we put all that out and actually it turned out people really liked it so we made it into a permanent little park. So we kept that. And then we did start getting complaints, though. And before we did that, I'll tell you in a minute what we got complaints about. Because I forgot. We forgot to put our bus in. We do want people to be able to get to the school and get to the park. Okay. 
So, we started to get complaints. Complaints? Okay. Yeah, it actually, it was so successful, we got some money to plant some more trees and build a new skate park. And then, sorry, we started to get complaints because you know what? We had never had, we never had a sidewalk. You ever notice with no sidewalks? Okay, so we definitely need a sidewalk to get to the school, right? So, we need it for lots of reasons. If I was in a wheelchair, I couldn't climb over that grass. And if I was on crutches, I need a smooth surface to be able to go down. So anyway, actually, when we installed our park, we actually installed water features. People were all coming. So anyway, so it was great. We actually... But then, these other engineers decided, you know what? That's great, but we've got a totally different way to do it. We're going to redesign your street and do it a different way. And they came in, and they rebuilt the whole street. We kept the safety features, but they wanted to organize it to work in a different way. So, what they did was, actually, after we got the bus, we got rid of some of the cars. Okay. So, in the new street that we built, we put in you can help me we put in a cycle track it's two ways they're next to traffic so my fellow engineer here is going to install a buffer we want to have a buffer okay so we had a two way cycle track and actually this is always what happens in engineering. Every street is different. So we come up with different ideas on how best to make that street work. So we actually didn't go with the two-way cycle track on this street. We went with a bike lanes on either side. And we did, remember we used paint to communicate to drivers and pedestrians? We actually used some fancy paint here also to communicate with bicyclists. So, and you can see this around DC. So anyway, so we were doing great. Great. So, so anyway, our street's pretty busy. You think we can do more? There's more. There's more. You know what? Then we got bike share. <laughs> we found that there was a need for other ways to travel and we put in a bike share and actually when you go outside the museum you'll see that there's a bike share station out there and we put that there and then people they didn't have to own a bike or they didn't have room for a bike in their apartment or they actually only wanted to go one way they could take the bike and they could go down to metro or they could just go home so we had a lot more biking activity on the street so one of the things then did was we started to count our bikes. We have a bike counter and we also we have a two so we actually one of the things that engineers do is they do a lot of counting okay so we're actually counting bicycles and one of the things people need when they use the street they need a lot of information, they need maps right? So we got a lot more going on on this street. Let me see. What are we missing? I know. We have a little design problem here. Where's the bus? And this is what engineers have to think about. I noticed a design problem. I've got a bus stop, and I've got a bike lane, and I have a bus. How are these people going to get on the bus? Well, you know, the engineers will think about that and they will come up with a design that works for both. What we did was we installed a little 
area here where the bikes go up a little bit and the people walk across and then the bikes go down. So engineers have to think about all those things and you've probably already been doing this when you've been setting up your cars and your tunnels and, all, and how they all move. Um, so I think that's it.